This is the Reflection and Perfection, the number one selection, TRP. Welcome back to Fight Night as we continue our salute for the 2008 United States Olympic men's boxing team. Up next is actually someone we all know, our current WBO super middleweight champion, Demetrius Boom Boom Andrade. That's right, someone who's still around for once. Boom Boom got to start in the amateur ranks and earned his trip to China by beating former world super welterweight champion Keith one-time Thurman, believe it or not, in the Olympic trials. Once he got to China, he defeated Akaber Davania in the first round. I totally butchered that one. He then became the first American to get past the second round by defeating Andre Balanov. That's where the story ends as Jung Ju Kun beat him in the quarterfinals. His pro career was hardly a disappointment like his Beijing days, and tonight we'll be taking a look at his professional debut on October 23, 2008, on the other card of Salido vs. Cruz. His opponent would be the 4 and 2 Patrick Cape. Will Cape spoil Andrade's debut, or will Andrade get the win? Let's find out. Ladies and gentlemen, our third foremost fan of promotions and Joe DeGloria, star of boxing, is association with Rodney Berman's Golden Gloves Promotions and the Northern Quest Casino. Present the pro debut of the world amateur champion and the U.S. Olympian as tonight's co-featured bout on fight night on versus schedule. Yeah, this was on versus. Action in the junior division. The blue corner. He wears the silver and black and weighs tonight at 140 and a half pounds. Fighting out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. His professional record early in history stands at four victories. The Ladies and gentlemen, presenting Patrick the Raging Bull Kane. And across the ring is Atmosphere, fighting out of the red corner. He wears the black trimmed in red and weighs his night at 155 pounds. As a world-class amateur in 2007, already a two-time national Golden Glove champion and a two-time amateur boxing champion, he would take silver in the tail of the game. First boxer since 1999 to become a world <laughs> And in 2008, as the reigning world champion, he would travel to the ruins of Beijing, China, to represent his United States. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the fighter widely considered to be the <coughs> professional prospect from Team USA, making his professional <laughs> boxing debut from Providence, Rhode Island, introducing the U.S. Olympian, Demetrius... It's funny. They said he was the number one prospect coming out of the Olympics, not Deontay Wilder. <laughs> but then again, he's still the champ. So, oh my God, this this Cape guy looks scared. He can say he got in there with a future champion. Yeah, but he was right. He did win the future champion. He's still the champ as of 2022. All right, ding, ding, round one. This is a junior middleweight battle, even though Andrade was the uh, welterweight in the Olympics. Oh, what a jab. And once again, Andrade is a lefty. <laughs> oh, he just he's all over him to begin this thing. Oh, the camera's right in front of him though. Thank you. Oh, nice reach. Yeah, Cape looks scared. Something World Finals from Las Vegas. Oh, Poker World Finals? What? PBR World Finals from Las Vegas begins October 31st. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, he's going he's gonna to knock this guy out in about two seconds. If he just lands one more combo. So the other guy's trying to switch up left and righty. It's not going to work. Oh! He's got him up against the ropes. Very, very well. 
So they just said what I've been saying all along. We said 20, 30 years ago, Andrade would be like one of the most well-known athletes in America because he would a great amateur and an Olympian, even though he didn't medal. But because of the fact that boxing has dropped dead <laughs> in the last 20, 30 years, no, he didn't get any exposure, no endorsement deals, nothing like that. So now he's stalking this kid, Cape. Got one minute left on the first round. I don't know, maybe he's Andrade's toward him. He's just plodding after him. Oh, oh, oh. Ten seconds left. He's going to survive this. He's going to survive it. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Oh, he's hurt. He got caught right in the rib. I think he either broke it or eight, nine. Is he okay? All right, now he's going to rest for a minute and think about what he just did. Oh, he's breathing out his mouth pretty bad. The referee's like. All right, his, his nose is busted too. All right, so normally we wouldn't be watching this, but no, I just wanted to see what happened here. Here it is right here. Bang, he hit him in the head. Bang, hit him in the head. Bang, and right in the short ribs. And that was a legitimate clean shot to the ribs. No, because what happened was the guy grabbed his right hand, so he just started throwing with his left, and his left caught him. All right, so the, so the trainer's talking to him. You okay? You okay? You want to go? You want to go? Maybe he can't sit down. You want to quit? You said no. All right, let's go. He's still hurting, so if Andrade's smart, he goes right to the ribs. Yep, no room for mercy. Oh, oh, big right, left, and that's it. That's it. The referee says, forget it, you're going to get brain damage. No, no. The, if the kid didn't telegraph that he was hurt a mile away, the ref wouldn't have stopped it. <laughs> so, no, he, he caught him with a big left to the face. He went down, and the ref says, that's, that's it, you're done. And so now he's pissed off that the ref called off the fight. But, like I said, if he didn't put up a big spectacle about being hurt in the ribs, that he probably wouldn't have done it. He probably would have got back up. But here's the left. Here's a big, big left hook. That sent him flying across the ring, and the ref said, forget it. Yeah, they called it off so he didn't get brain damage. All right, so that's it. Okay. Well, Andrade was off and running and he never looked back. He's currently 32 0 and the WBO Super Middleweight Champion. He recently defended his title successfully back in November and is still going strong. It's a shame he couldn't beat Jung Ju Kim and win a medal, but ironically, he hasn't lost a fight since. So, I run, so here's the funny part is that he was the most successful amateur to this point and he didn't even make the medal round. So that's how bad he, the United States has fallen off. But like I said, with you know other guys, at least he won you know professional you know championships. So not all was lost. All right, we'll see you next time.